Hey guys, it's Mahel here and today I'm going to be telling you about how you can prepare for university in the UK as a first year as part of my Freshers Week 2020 advice series. If you haven't already seen it or if you're new to my channel, then I've already uploaded a series of Freshers related content which you can see by clicking the info card in this corner. So I highly advise that you go and check it out. But before we do get into the video, Make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on by clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell as this ensures that you do not miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live. I upload a range of informative university related content so you do not want to miss out on a video as soon as it goes up. Without further ado, let's get into today's topic. If you're anything like I was two years ago, yeah, two years ago, it's quite insane, then chances are that you're just sitting around with not much to do and you're just counting down the days until university. Chances are that you're just sitting there thinking, I really want to go to university. How many days are there left? I cannot just fast forward to September. But you might also be wondering, is there anything you can do to prepare for your first year at university as a fresher? The answer is yes, there is. So starting this video strong, my first tip is to learn how to reference correctly. I can't emphasize how important referencing is at university as it literally could be the difference between a 2-2 and a 2-1 or a first. Referencing is so important at university that even if your work is perfect, if you have poor referencing, this can actually prevent you from getting above a 2-2 as poor referencing is what's known as a major error. At the University of Nottingham where I currently attend, we use Harvard referencing, so make sure to familiarise yourself with the style of referencing that your university uses as it can differ uni to uni. A very useful resource to use for referencing is Cite This For Me, as often all you need to do is put in an ISBN number of a book and it will tell you all of the referencing details that you need in your referencing style and it really is a lifesaver, I'll tell you that. However, saying that, Cite This For Me isn't 100% accurate, nor does it have all of the information all of the time. And so this is why I also recommend using Google Scholar to get your referencing and citation information. If you want to see a full video on how to reference, then let me know in the comments below, as I believe that I have actually mastered referencing at university. In fact, none of the coursework that I have done in first year or second year have had a comment about poor referencing. So I feel like I'm experienced enough on referencing to tell you about how to reference properly. My second tip for preparing for university is to read the news. Now, if you've been a long time subscriber of mine, then you'll know that I've mentioned reading the news multiple times as it really is so important, not just at A-level, especially if you're doing A-level business or economics, but at university for subjects such as politics, business, economics and more. The reason for this is that if you read the news, you already give yourself access to wider reading that you can then later reference in a piece of coursework. In order to achieve the higher grades, you need to show a sense of wider knowledge and by reading the news, you can develop upon your wider knowledge and so it really is so important that you read the news while you're at university. Personally, I'm a subscriber to The Times and as part of Nottingham University Business School, I get access to The Financial Times and The Economist for free. And those are the free news outlets that I recommend that you read. The Times, The Financial Times and The Economist. Now, I did say that reading the news is so important whilst you're studying your degree. However, it's also important that you read the news before starting your degree and using the time in August and September to read the news as for example, let's say you're going to be studying politics and an article came up on Brexit. In fact, it did a couple of days ago about the withdrawal agreement. When it comes to the December time where you're doing a piece of coursework and you decide to talk about Brexit, you already know something about it. So trust me, read the news, make bookmarks of articles that you think will be relevant in your courseworks in the future as this can save you so much time 
and it would enable you to develop wider knowledge. My third tip is to join as many university group and group chats as possible. The pressure of meeting new people at university can be daunting and for some people so daunting that it can make them feel physically sick. However, you can help alleviate some of this pressure by meeting people through Facebook group chats before you start university. I'm not saying you have to meet up someone through group chats physically, just talk to them over Snapchat, over Facebook, maybe FaceTime them, get to know them, as when you get to university and you're in your first week as a fresher, you can arrange to meet them in person and there you already save yourself the awkwardness of, oh, I'm blah, 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 I'm from blah, 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 uh, I'm studying this course. You can just get to know each other as if you've known each other for years already. Now, I actually did this myself. First, it started with just talking generally in the group chats, but then when I felt comfortable enough, I messaged people individually. And then when it got to Freshers Week, I met them in person. And some of these people I still talk to today as a third year, which is just amazing because two years later, I'm still talking to someone that I first messaged on Facebook that I didn't know before at all. I've now mentioned Facebook a couple of times and I can't stress how important it is to have Facebook as an incoming fresher. But I'm going to be talking about Facebook more in a future video where I'm going to be giving you my ultimate Freshers Week 2020 guide. My fourth tip to prepare for university is to bang gym. Yes. I said to bang gym. You might be thinking, this is a strange recommendation, Mahel. However, it actually makes complete sense. This is because at university, a lot of people tend to suffer from lazy habits, which typically leads to fat gain, and for some people, poor mental health. By getting into a gym routine now, as of making this video, you have roughly one and a half months to get yourself fitter, both physically and mentally. But the most important reason to start a gym routine now is because when you reach university, you're more likely to keep it up than say, if you were to start gym when you get to university, if that makes sense. When you get to university, you're gonna fall into some lazy habits and you're probably gonna be like, mm, I'll go gym tomorrow, yeah, I'll start next week. And then by the time you know it, it's the end of first year. Whereas if you start a gym routine now, you'll be determined to keep it up when you hit university and you'll be consistent or so I hope. Speaking from personal experience, I myself did actually get a bit fatter from the start of first year to the end of first year. And this is largely due to the fact that I was ordering food all the time on Deliveroo and Uber Eats and didn't learn how to cook. But I'm gonna be talking about learning how to cook in my next point. This fat gain happened whilst I was still going to the gym most days of the week at university. So you can imagine if I weren't going gym at all, just how much more that I would have gotten. So I can't emphasize how much you should try and make the most of the time you have now, between now and the start of university to trim down as much as you can or just get more athletic. So that if you do rebound a bit when you start university, it won't be as bad as say you didn't go gym at all. The positive news is that since the end of first year, I have slimmed down again and I'm probably the fittest I've ever been, despite lockdown. And I'm just doing great things for myself physically and mentally. So all is good. But let's just say I will never be returning to the point where I was before I started my fitness journey, which you'll see on screen now. As trust me, you never want to be that overweight in your life, ever. As for becoming healthier mentally, Exercising releases endorphins, which basically just makes you happier. And so this can help combat a bit of uni depression and in turn, a bit of uni homesickness as well, as homesickness can lead to a bit of uni depression. So now hopefully you can understand the importance of starting a gym routine now, because not only do you want to feel the best you have both physically and mentally, you also want to look the best you can uh, physically so that you can secure that uni woman or man of your dreams. My fifth and final tip for preparing for university is learning how to cook. I previously mentioned that during first year I barely cooked anything and I was ordering Deliveroo and Uber Eats all the time. In fact during first year the most that I was able to cook was a piece of chicken on a George Foreman grill and I would eat this 
with microwavable rice. Because I didn't want to live off plain chicken and rice at the time, I ended up just ordering a lot of food on Deliveroo and Uber Eats. Nice and quick, order some food, comes half an hour later, don't have to wash up, don't have to uh, spend time cooking, don't have to go out and get the ingredients, and whilst it was convenient, you really shouldn't be doing this, and it was one of my mistakes, because by doing this, I spent thousands of pounds on just Uber Eats, Deliveroo and Just Eat alone. Because this is one of my biggest university regrets, especially as a first year, I'm telling you about this now so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Learn how to cook because you'll save so much money, you're able to make healthier meals for yourself, which goes with point number four about banging gym, and overall, you'll probably feel better as well because you don't really want to be living off pizza and McDonald's all the time you'll probably feel like absolute crap. I'm not saying you have to become a culinary expert. You can learn the basics such as pasta, couscous, and chili con carne. So, realistically, between now and September, you should be able to learn basics such as that, and three or four solid meals, because the rest you can learn once you're at university, and as a social aspect, you can ask your flatmates to cook with you and get to know them that way. That is a bonus tip within tip number five. But that is going to be it for the video guys and girls. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope these tips have been helpful. I have now told you how you can prepare for university as a first year in the UK. If you did enjoy this video then make sure to leave a like, comment below and subscribe and turn all post notifications on so that you do not miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live. Make sure to follow me on social media, that's at Mihal Khan on TikTok, Snapchat and Instagram, at Mihal X on Twitter and official Mihal Khan on Facebook. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me in the comments below. I will be uploading more university related content in the build up to Freshers 2020. Like I said before, I will be uploading an Ultimate Freshers Week 2020 guide video, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Of course, if you have post notifications turned on, you'll be notified when that goes live. And I have been Mihal, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.